live on WGN News at noon. Live from Chicago's very own, this is WGN News at noon. Topping our news this afternoon, Michael Jordan takes a crack at what could be his second career, playing ball for the White Sox. After weeks of heavy hype, the former Bulls phenomenon receives his official invitation to Sox training camp. That comes after Jordan's morning batting exhibition, a spectacle, excuse me, a spectacle captured by international media. Just three months ago, Jordan entered retirement, announcing the end of his basketball career. Now MJ's making the transition from heart-stopping hoops on the court to heavy hitting on the baseball diamond. WGN sports team is covering this story. We've got team coverage with Dan Rowan and Rich King live at ITT. Dan? Well, Sonny, the news conference that Michael's expected to hold should start in just a couple of minutes. He's taken a couple of turns in the batting cage. He also fielded some ground balls, caught a few flies, and uh, took infield practice. That was the, about the extent of it. Uh, maybe an hour, an hour and 15 minutes worth of workout here. But for the first time in front of everybody, and I think that uh, everybody was interested to see just exactly how Michael would do in the cage. Well, here he is uh, facing one of the Sox scouting staff, a left-hander, Mike Majorca. Just tossing underhand early on, and Michael making a little contact. And there you get a look at uh, some of the media whore that has come out today uh, to watch all this. I'll tell you one thing. If I were Michael, I'd have been a bit nervous out there <laughs> with all the people watching, and I think he was. He didn't make very good contact in the turns that we watched him take in the cage. And, of course, you know, he's a great athlete. His athleticism should never be underestimated when you talk about this uh, whole situation that Michael's trying to make happen out here. He can catch a ball. He can run a base. There's no question about that. But the big question is, will he be able to hit major league pitching if that's how far uh, this entire extravaganza really goes? And uh, we really don't know that and won't know that until probably a week from uh, tomorrow or a week from Wednesday or Thursday when he gets his first live turns outdoors in the cage uh, down at Sarasota. He hasn't been officially asked yet, Rich King, but we're certain <laughs> that's going to happen in the next couple of days. I'll tell you, a part of the story here, Dad, as you well know, you mentioned earlier, the media horde here, hundreds of reporters are behind us right now getting set for this news conference. And, of course, the White Sox did their best at trying to keep things under control. I think it's, it's controlled well. Obviously, someone with the stature of a Michael Jordan, a worldwide figure that he, that he is, uh, draws a lot of media. We have about 200 media here today. This is quite an event. Uh, so uh, it's a bit of a dream, but I think it's our responsibility to make sure the dream doesn't turn into a nightmare. Well, it was more like a circus than a nightmare. The media pouring in to watch the greatest basketball player of all time yeah. give it a try at Major League Baseball. Jordan at first working out in the hardwood gym where they're not supposed to be any bad hops. This is his first test before the eyes of the media some of the veteran scribes took it all as a big sideshow. I think it's the biggest hoax since the Cardiff Giant. <laughs> Doesn't mean that much today, does it? Well, I'm amazed, you know. It just shows you how hard up all of us are. <laughs> There's so many people out here. There's all, every TV truck in town is out here. In fact, Two stations have two trucks. <laughs> Rockford, South Bend, and there's more reporters here. In fact, there's twice as many reporters here as the Cubs or Sox will have on opening day. Wow. Just shows you, shows you that we need news, I guess. It's like a circus, isn't it? You know, they even have the netting up. <laughs> uh, it's the strangest thing I've ever seen. I've never seen anything like this. It's, uh, it's quite an event. I mean, it, it's like a circus. What will this proof to you today, having seen him? I, I don't think it will prove anything to anybody. Well, the news conference has begun. This is a bit of a circus, Rich. The news conference has begun, and Ron Schuler has indeed extended the invitation to Michael Jordan uh, to come to Sarasota and participate in White Sox spring training. So that has been done. And right now, let's pick up uh, live the news conference uh, occurring just behind me and to my right. With that, we'll open it up. Uh, I'm sure Ron you have a Schuler. few questions. Uh, fire away. First question, please. Right here, Mark. That's not true. You know, we spend uh, a lot more time in city than what we did in basketball. You know, basketball, we end one night. At least here, you got three and four nights, which you can, I can take my family with me. Um, I've certainly talked to my family about it. Uh, I didn't anticipate being here with you guys. I tried to do it as, to do it that way, and uh, here I am back in front of you guys for another 
press conference. But uh, my family is still very important to me, and I certainly would take them on as many trips as they want to go. Uh, I can do that really right now because my kids are not really in school yet. So uh, <clears throat> if I was going to do it, this is the perfect time to do it before I have their other commitments with my kids in school. So uh, it's one of the things that my wife and I talked about, and my, and my brothers and my sisters and my mother. Uh, and they said this is probably the best time to do it before the kids get old and they're in school and they can't really travel as much. So uh, you know, we've kind of picked this as the only time I have an opportunity to do it. I was a little nervous. Uh, because a lot of people would not understand the progress that I've gone through uh, and could easily be misinterpreted for whatever reasons, especially when the people don't know exactly what the, uh, the process that I've gone through. Uh, that was a nervousness that someone could uh, really don't understand, you know, the progress that I've made. But uh, I'm still moving forward. I'm still improving, I think. And uh, evidently, uh, you know, they feel that I have improved a little bit. And uh, I just got to keep working hard. So I was a little nervous, but you know, once I got out there, you know, I, I just go through the motions and, and go through my normal routine. And uh, you're going to make adjustments one way or the other. I realize that. But uh, yeah, I've been putting a lot of hard work out there to get to this point. And I'm not going to stop now because I have something in, you know, in, in focus and, and, I and a goal to try to achieve. And you know, I'm going to keep improving as much as I have to. I'm ready for it. I mean, I've never been afraid to fail. You know, that's, that's something that uh, you have to deal with in, in reality is that you're not always going to be successful. And I think I'm strong enough as, as a person to accept failure, uh, you know, but I, I will not accept not trying. You know, that's something that I, I couldn't accept, and at least I try. So if I fail, you know, I'm not going to feel bad about it. You know, I deal with it in whatever fashion that you must deal with failure and move on, you know, but I'm not afraid to fail. We've talked about that, and uh, I, I've mentioned it that, you know, if, if they really feel I have the progress uh, or the possibility or the potential, then certainly I would consider that, and uh, I would never put that, uh, you know, totally out. I would ne never count myself out. Because I have an opportunity to do it. You know, I, I want to thank the White Sox for giving me an opportunity to come and use their facility to get myself into shape to at least try it. You know, so uh, retirement is, 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 a, is a state of your life that you get to choose and do whatever you choose to do. And, and I chose to try to play baseball just to see if I could. You know, uh, I, I didn't do it as a distraction. I'm not doing it as as a media hog or looking for, for the media exposure from it. You know, I, I try to do it without letting the media know. So uh, it isn't something that I'm searching for, but I had to f search within myself to see if I had that opportunity. And once I got the opportunity to see if I can do it. And it was, a, it was one of those wishes that my father had and, and I had when I was a kid. And I just got an opportunity to do that. In terms of... Uh, all around, I think I've improved a lot. Just learning the drills, practicing the drills, enhancing them. I think I've improved tremendously from when I first got here. My motto's been to Herm, Herm can tell you that every day it's been a you know, hard working activity for me and uh, it's no gimmick. That's my motto, it was no gimmick from day one. You know, I came out to put the effort there and I felt I have every day and I will continue to do so until if I fail or if I succeed, you know, but I'm gonna put the work out there and at least I know that you know, If I fail, I know I put the effort there. It's the best shape that I've ever been in and, and you know, even playing basketball So Michael Jordan uh, telling us that he's more than willing to put in the work that he's willing to take a minor league assignment If his improvement over the course of spring training uh, would warrant that and that he might be able to come up to the major leagues later on uh, much more later on in the newscast as Michael Jordan plays ball, apparently, for the Chicago White Sox. Reporting live from IIT, Dan Roan, WGN News. All right, Dan, we'll look forward to your report. In other news, a sad story from North Suburban Skokie. A husband and his wheelchair... 
As we told you at the top of our newscast, Michael Jordan is getting a crack at what could be a new career. He's been officially invited to White Sox Spring Training Camp. WGN's Dan Rowan is live at IIT with details. Dan? Well, Sonia, we have now seen uh, the, sw uh, the swings that will surely be the most talked about swings in Chicago since Babe Ruth hit that alleged called shot back in the 30s. Uh, Michael worked out for everybody and uh, has signed a minor league contract with the White Sox. And the man who signed him is Ron Schuler, the baseball operations chief. And Shu, as we look at Michael in the cage, uh, tell us a little bit about the process that you went through in trying to decide whether or not you're going to offer him this contract. Well, first of all, let's just see if you'll see him uh, five, six, seven weeks ago. His swing was awful long. And I think Bill Melton has done a good job of shortening the swing, getting it a little bit more compact. Uh, the other skills as far as the feeling and things that go with it, the arm, we're not that much concerned about it. It's when he gets down there with all the elements, can he swing the bat? Yeah, that's the bottom line. Can he hit the baseball? It, and it's going to be tough. Uh, obviously, with his name and, and, and reputation as an athlete, some of these pitchers might take a little offense to it, and then they'll work him over. Uh, he'll find out quickly whether uh, you know he can gear up for that good fastball. You know, I'm certain that if an athlete from some other profession, a, a less high-profile guy than Michael Jordan, uh, were to show you that he had some skills and you invited him to spring, uh, spring training camp, uh, obviously there wouldn't be the furor that there is over this. Well, that's true. Uh, you know, we're talking about Michael Jordan, the world's <laughs> best player. So, and obviously that's one of the reasons he's getting this opportunity. But in all, he is a heck of an athlete. And, and the effort that he's shown me, the work ethics and everything, uh, I just feel at this point, it, I think it's good for the organization, for his teammates. Or we're going to be his teammates. They've been expressing their interest over this past week and wishing him well. I think it's just a good chance and a good opportunity. And let's see what Michael can do. All right, Shu, best of luck to you and to Michael. We hope it all works out for everybody. Thank you, Dan. Ron Schuler, and now we'll send it back to the studio. All right, thanks, Dan. And that's it in sports. Up next, the Illinois State Lottery drawing live on WGN News at noon.